So this is one of the best preserved sections of Offa's Dyke anywhere. And while it's not particularly long in this level of high quality preservation, perhaps 200, 250 metres, you really get a sense here, north of Trevon and on the Offa's Dyke path, of the full scale of the monument built under the orders of King Offa in the late 8th century by a workforce probably drawn from the area and perhaps from the whole of Western Mercia to dig this huge monument. A monument that was intended to work as a, a military frontier, but also a monument intended to promote the fame and authority of a king who imagined he was the equal of Charlemagne, Charles the Great, his contemporary. So what you can get a sense of here is the huge nature of the ditch carving through the landscape. Perhaps another metre beneath my feet it would have originally gone down to and then become a V-shaped ditch that has the ankle breaker at the bottom for another half metre, making it near impossible for livestock and people to scramble across, and certainly not to do so in large numbers and unseen. They would have been easily observed in the landscape. And then we have the huge bank that rises up. Um, you're looking northwards here, so this is eastwards, as I'm going to be walking now, into Mercian territory, as it were. If I don't fall over, you'll get a flavour of the scale of the bank. Ta-da!